English Broken Businesses. We are all about black excellence, bringing local entrepreneurs together to inspire and motivate you through business. So it's simple, what you can do is to listen to this story and be inspired and show to you guys, nothing is impossible. If they can do it, so sit down and chill and listen to this wonderful story. Follow your dreams. A person that is studying something and failing is better than a person that is scared to start something. something yeah. Because from you failing, it means, you are gaining. Yeah, an experience. It's an experience. Yeah. And no one can buy experience. Yeah. English Broken Business, I'm here with the tycoon Yasek Haidicha, Utaspe, the founder of Cut the Milk. Utaspe, how did you start with business of the milk? From the actual vision, uh, from the renovations. Everything, everything. Because I know very well when I was a young boy, I used to pass here by the taxi. It used to be, I think, RTP houses, this place. So that's why I'm asking, <clears throat> how did you begin? How did you start this vision of coming and bringing, like Uzi say, a big um, 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 business of multi-millionaire business at Apicas? I think uh, if I were to tell you a story about the milk, yeah. about the vision, uh, I said the milk, I would say I would be cheating on you. Okay. I would be giving you half of the information that I should be giving you about opening up a business or about me being a businessman. Sure. Um, I think it started with me doing the chicken dust business um, on Spine Road. Okay. I was one of the few people that started uh, chicken dust business. Okay. Uh, but but I, had a, I had a foundation, man, to of, you know, when you have a foundation of a business, but the most important uh, thing that I had um, was principles and honesty sure. throughout my journey when I was uh, an employee sure. to becoming a a businessman yeah uh, it's not an easy journey or it's not an easy thing um, when you are being honest into business because uh, honesty and business doesn't go hand in hand you need to be selfish and be greedy sure for you to be successful in business because business is about opportunities yeah you look while people are crying you become a solution you look for opportunities that is business yeah so I had that foundation from the chicken dust sure from doing chicken dust uh, i was very strategic in doing my chicken dust because yeah. i wanted to stand out i like to stand out because i like to to stretch my mind yeah. when i when i'm doing anything because i think that's where you can be able to grow when you are under pressure when you think of things that no one thinks uh, it, it, it it makes you unique yeah so i had this chicken dust business but I was putting sofas, which is couches, yeah. ottomans, coffee tables, like a proper setup with uh, AstroTurf. Yeah. So that was 2010. 10, okay, okay. Yeah. World Cup time. Yeah, there are very few people that could understand in the township the sure. AstroTurf. So fortunately, uh, I had it and people were very pleased and they liked it how I, 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 I I did it there in, uh, in, in the Spine Road, spine road because yeah. it was something unique. Yes. People couldn't understand that I would invest such mm. amount of money just for chicken dust business. But for me, it was just being strategic and uh, putting some skills yeah. and making sure that I get something out of nothing or I create something out yeah. of nothing. So my appetite of doing business, it grew. Okay. Um, and then I opened a stretch tent business. Sure. Uh, in that process of me doing that, both businesses, yeah. I was still working. Sure. At, at Kwais. Yeah. Um, that is where I met a lot of people. That is where my character was tested. That okay. is where my yeah. skills, uh, were utilized mostly because 
the responsibilities that I, I was given there, it was. It made you. It made who you are today. Yes. Yeah. It was too much of responsibilities with too much of knowledge, yeah. which is a good thing. Sure. You know, sometimes you pray for the rain, but you don't happen. expect the floods. You yeah. can't pray for the rain and then you are complaining when you get storms. Sure. Storms goes with the rain. Yeah. So I think um, that was the solid foundation that I had. Sure. So when I came here at the milk already, I had a business background. Yeah. I knew a lot of people, uh, but I don't want to lie, I was, I was too honest. Okay, okay, okay. I had a good, a good heart. Yeah. I was an angel. Sure. Uh, angels don't survive in business. Okay. So, so, that's pair of or something. Ne? What make you to stand out, ne? When you are in Span Road, as as you are saying that, I mean, I know the the, the chicken dust competition there in Tasto is still there. So, what make you to stand out first? There in Chicken Tusk Road. So how I structured my Chicken Tusk business was, I didn't want to chase cars. Yeah. I wanted cars to stop and come straight to where I'm, 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 I'm selling my chicken. Yeah. So I created an identity. Because I think, for me, identity is very important in business. Sure. Give a reason to people why should they come to you and buy to you. Yeah. You have to be different. Sure. So already when I came there at the chicken dust business, there were two stands, two people, two old people yeah. with a lot of experience. Sure. But my advantage was that I was young. Yeah. So my fresh, my, my mind was fresh, yeah. full, of energy. Uh, full of energy and the drive. So it was easy for me to be different. Yeah. It was easy for me to be different. And when I left Spine Road, I saw that it's becoming messy. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. are chasing cars, we are fighting amongst each other. So I felt that it was time for me to move. Yeah. I had to grow. Yeah. So that's when I took was tight there. It's good to have a competition, okay. but once you see the environment that you're working in that it's consuming a lot. Yeah. It is an element of disrespect. When you know there's a lot at stake and there's a lot there's a lot you can offer, you remove yourself. Sure. Uh, that's 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 where the appetite oh. of a restaurant uh, came from. Yeah. Because already I was dealing with people, hospitality industry, yeah. background from Guayas, and then I had a foundation, solid foundation. Okay. But um, the operations uh, experience I had, but controlling the finance and the capital that I never had. Okay, okay, okay. With 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 uh, yeah. with the milk. Yeah. That's why when I started the milk, I bought a house. Sure. That was conducting a business. It was a. This house was. They were stitching a uniform. Yeah, I remember. For schools. I remember, yeah. Yes. So, the uniform, uh, yeah, it was a yeah. old. It it was a. It was a old granny and. A, uh, granddad, yeah. I built a solid relationship with them sure. before I even bought the house. Okay. Because okay. you can't believe how I bought this house. Yeah. I heard about it when I was in, in the salon. Yeah. I think two minutes away from here. I heard that they are selling the house. They wanted to move somewhere else. I came to them, yeah. sat down with them, explained my situation. Uh, I sold my vision before even the milk existed. Sure. They bought into my vision before even the, the milk existed. Yeah, existed yes. They believed in me. I don't know. Maybe it's it's the blessings. Yeah. Or I'm, I would say I'm blessed because yeah. how I bought this house, I was paying this house in installments. Yeah. I finished it and they were still staying in this house. Sure. So I was paying every month. I pay 50, 20, 30, 50 and I, I finished it. Yeah. So it, it's not something that usually happens. Sure, yeah. Uh, if, you be, if you can be able to get a deal like that, yeah. for you as a businessman to be able to breathe, yeah. you must know that uh, you're on the right track of conducting the business. I, I think it goes back to um, what you have said before, that honesty, that was your basic of your personality and also the business that you are an honest person.
I just want to find out another thing that is so striking for me. When you demolish it, like when you demolish this place, um, I think you build two stories. And then I think after some few months and then you came with the third one or after a year, something like that. But I remember very well when there was the construction of this place. Where did you get the braveness to bring millions up a Kailich? Because this is not this is not a hundred thousand building. This is multi million. There are a lot of people that have money. There are a lot of people that have a financial backup, but there isn't a lot of people that have got sure. a strong character because it takes a strong character. You won't believe I sold, I sold everything I had. Yeah, I know. Houses, business, trucks, buckies, like everything. I lost everything, including my girlfriend, <laughs> in the process of building the milk. Sure. Because it, it was, it was too much. Yeah. It was draining for me psychologically. It was draining a lot because from the things I've been doing to the community, the things I've been doing as a businessman, yeah. it's like everyone turned their back on me. Sure. I became a laughing stock because... Nobody believed in your dream. No one believed in what I was selling and I didn't have money to complete I was halfway, can't go back, sold my business, that was my cash cow, not because I wanted to sell it, but by that time, there was a lot of money that I had invested in the establishment, Yeah. versus to what I had, so I had to make sure that what I've invested here, yeah. I recoup it. I get it back. So how do I get it back? I need to invest a lot of time with where I invested a lot of money. So some people were saying, I can't think, I'm stupid. Why would I sell something that was already making money? Yeah. But you know, people will never know what they don't know. Yes, of course. Um, sometimes in business you feel, you feel stuck, you feel trapped. You want other new opportunities. Sure. So the next person won't be able to understand that because it's something that is inside of you. Yeah. Once you feel trapped, the next person doesn't understand how you feel. feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, I know you, 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 you have, you're one of the people that are boosting economy, employing people, changing people's life. Do, do, what kind of dream do you have about the Kailich? Do you think Kailich can be or it is or it is a coming harbor of tourism or it's a place to be versus crime? For me to answer that question, I look at it um, in a very holistic view, which is I look beyond. For yeah. me, it's not about Kailicha. Uh, what I see for the township, I see that there, there, there are big problems that are coming for us in the yeah. township. Three years back, four years back, I would answer this uh, question of yours differently. But yeah. now, things have changed uh, post-COVID very much, drastically. Yeah. Government is encouraging people to do home consumption, which is, things are different. We are moving more digital. Uh, township is becoming a no-go area. Yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna accuse anyone. Okay. If it's something that is being done intentionally or not. But I think the day we realize as people from the township that we are the economy of this country. Sure. Um, we are the people that are very important to the GDP of the country. We will get to understand that we are sitting on gold. Sure. And we are relaxing, we are not doing anything about it. Yeah. Um, 
we need to start having a unity. Uh, we respect each other and try and bring back the you the, the the humanity. Yes. Because it's very important to bring back the humanity, because now things that we are making sh- fashionable now. Yeah. We need to make. We need to change our narrative of seeing things and doing things. To say, instead of bashing people from Facebook, yeah, crushing one another, demeaning other people's egos, let's normalize people starting things and failing. Yeah, let's make it normal. Let's let's make it fashionable. Sure. As because a person that is starting something and failing is better than a person that is scared to start something. something. Yeah. Because from you failing. It means you are gaining. Yeah, an experience. It's an experience. Yeah. And no one can buy experience. Yeah. So if we can start changing how we think, yeah. we'll get to understand that actually there's no one that is holding the wealth in the township besides us. Yes. It's just that we don't realize the power well, that we have. Yes. We need to have unity. Yeah. Because the only businesses that are left for black people now it's alcohol business and taxi business. Yeah. Are we going to let them go? Nope. Yeah. What do you want to say to a young guy then um, who want to be like you, who started like you, who's giving up, and who people, they don't understand him like as you were not understood. What do you want to say to that young guy? Look. <laughs> The situation that you are in shouldn't be an excuse of what you can be. Sure. We are all coming from different ethnic backgrounds. Yeah. I don't have parents, but it never stopped me to dream big. Sure, sure, sure. Because of I didn't have, I don't have parents, do I complain? No. And sit and smoke drugs? Yeah. That is an excuse. You fight. Yeah. Even a seed fight underground there's nothing easy in life <laughs> so if you don't fight i mean there's nothing that will happen for you sure so it's very important that you see uh, we as business people we need to normalize having seminars sure. sessions so that we can equip the young ones yeah because once a person reaches a stage where if he feels fuck this is too, too much, much yeah the pressure Excuse is my language. will come. Pressure is everywhere. Yeah. There's no way that something can grow in the space where there's no uncomfortability. Sure. Everything grows where there's uncomfortability yeah. when you are under pressure. Because when you are under pressure, you think of things that you never thought you were. Yeah. yeah. That is when you stretch your mind. Yeah. Think of things that you never thought that you can be able to pull through. And you must know that you are under pressure. Yeah. So... We need to, 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 to bring back, back the sport. Sure. It's very important that in our uh, communities, in our township, we must bring back the love of the sport, whether it's netball, soccer, because sport is where you, are, you instill discipline. Yeah. Same thing that you hear from home is the same thing that you are going to hear from sport, yeah. which is discipline. It's very important. Yeah. Because that's where your character is being tested in sport. Sure. You lose, how do you behave when you lose? Yeah. You win, how do you be, behave when you win? Sure. When you lose, how do you bounce back? Yeah. So it teaches a lot. So it's very important that there are certain things that yeah. need to be mandatory. Sure. I never thought that you look at the sport in such a way because in sport, you don't always win. There will be days you will lose, but how do you react when you lose? And how do you maintain when you win? To understand so I know that's where you want to become a pig you, you want to see all the milk everywhere especially in townships because I believe in the township economy and I, I truly believe and I just want you I know that's where this is not the end of your vision to understand tell me where do you see yourself that's where in a nest few years to come I don't want to put a, a time frame and say five years or ten years because I mean you did magic here everyone knows the milk I mean you you have signed something that is so powerful in a township you know like you made white people to feel safe 
when they are inside the milk. So wh where do you see yourself? Um, you see what's happening now at the milk. It's something that I visioned 2018. Sure. What's happening now was supposed to happen in 2018. Sure. But you know, sometimes we dream big. Yeah. Uh, there are consequences of dreaming big. Sure. There are consequences that comes with you dreaming big. You must sure. be able to deal with them. Yeah. Um, with the direction that uh, life is taking now, Sure. The safety in the township, because it's, it's, it's becoming difficult in the township day in, day out to run a business. Yeah. There are things that are beyond our control. Sure. There's jealousy, people are starving, yeah. lost jobs. There's just too much that is happening in the township. Sure. So for me, my vision always changes. Sure. The vision that I had 2018 is totally different to the vision I have now 2022. Of course. For me, I'm in business. Uh, I don't believe in making a living. Sure. Because if I wanted to make a living, I would have been staying next to the beach with everything that I've made. But I want to be an impactful person. Sure. Where I make a difference in, peop in people in people's life in the township sure. because I, I grew up in the township I'm from the township I know the ins and outs of the township I so wish the mentality that I have the strength that I have my fellow brothers or other brothers we can unite and yeah. try and you can't break 20 pens together of course yeah. but you can break one pen once we become those 20 pens, we'll become unstoppable. Sure, sure. We will try and create, say, because people who are going to reduce crime in the township, it's, it's not nice. police, it's us. Of course. We understand the township. Yeah. But we need to own it. Of course, yeah. We need to take accountability. Yeah. We need to take responsibility to say, we need to plow back. Yeah. And, and sorry to cut you, Taspe, you know, I, I followed um, the way the Muslim run their places and also their business. They are united and also they fight a crime. So, like what you are saying is definitely true. If we African people, if we township, you know, we can unite and become one, we are the one who's going to fight a crime. Taspe. I just want to close it and and fully close at this time yeah well, i just want you to close it for me to understand and 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 you know you are one of my bucket list good talent and follow we shall good talent and follow we you know i know you i know his story said that the milk can say light the quail and rulang a pass up i know i know it very well so that's pay me for you thank you so much keep on doing what you are doing keep on pushing to understand and you can tell them there about who english broken what can you say and for money gap and sizo sizam bona pi that's pay i'm saying my brother i see that the, the interview is being driven to be about me, but I'm not the person that likes to take credit. Yeah. Uh, I'm the person that would like to do things that would change people's life sure. without expectations. I think that's what makes you sleep at night because you heal inside. Sure. So for people out there who are trying who wants to give up, who are struggling, who are failing, who are feeling lonely, uh, who are thinking, if today you are thinking to give up, giving up is not an option. And it shouldn't be an option because the mere fact that you have thought of studying something, it means that you are on the right path. Sure. There are things that we don't tell on interviews yeah. that happens in our business journeys that at some point I also felt I wanted to give up. Sure. But I didn't give up. 
But the young person seeing me on the streets driving a Mercedes, a yeah. Ferrari, they don't understand what the Ferrari uh, challenges yeah. comes with. So it's very important that those pains, those tribulations, we must share them in our stories that when you fail, you don't fail, you learn. Yeah. And when you learn, you become a better person. Sure. You become a better place, a person, you become close into the finishing line. Sure. But the most important thing in business, become uh, comfortable in being uncomfortable. Sure. You will go far. Yeah. Guys, that's it for me. English Broken Business, Dan, Slay, give us. Thank you so much, Daspe. Sure. 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 sure.